everybody and welcome back to my vlogmas. Today I'm going to be showing you how to knit a Christmas stocking. Um, so for this I am using 10mm knitting needles and super chunky wool in both red and white um, and you will also need a tapestry needle so I'm going to leave links in the description to where you can get all of those things from as well as um, a link to the pattern that I am using. So some of you watching this may have never knitted before, in which case then you're probably going to want to watch the whole video. But if you have knitted before and there may be just certain aspects of the stocking um, that you're not 100% sure about, I'm just going to quickly now sort of talk through the main sort of sections of the stocking and put um, just here the time at which that particular section is in the video so if you just want to watch a little bit then you can just skip to that section. So the start of the stocking is rib stitch which is when you knit a stitch and purl a stitch so that is pretty much what we're going to go straight into um, and then we change to stocking stitch which starts at this time um, and immediately after that is um, showing you how to change colour. Then the next sort of big thing after that is shaping the um, heel of the stocking and for this you have to um, wrap and turn. Um, so this is the time at which that is and then after that it's just um, decreasing the stitches and casting off and then sewing up the stocking. So you don't need the red straight away so you can pop that to one side and with the white you just want to cast on 20 stitches. So I'm going to do this off camera but I will leave a link below to um, a couple of different videos which will show you how to cast on if you don't know how to do that. So once you have your stitches casted on um, we're going to start but we're going to start knitting the cuff of the stocking. So for this, we're going to be working in rib stitch, which means that you knit a stitch, purl a stitch, knit a stitch, purl a stitch, etc. So we're going to start by knitting a stitch. So your right needle is going to go into this first stitch behind the left needle. Then you get the wool that you're working with and wrap it round the right hand needle. You then take the left needle over the top of the right needle and then just slide the rest off the end. And that is your first knit stitch. So for the purl, you want to start off by making sure that you have brought your wool round to the front of the needle. Then you're going to go into the stitch on the left needle but in front. Then take the wool that you're working with around the right needle and then you bring the left needle over towards you and slide off. And it's really important at this point to make sure that you put this wool back round to the back. Okay. So then there we go, we've got our first knit stitch and our first purl stitch. So you just carry on with that for the entire row. And then there you go, you have your first completed row. So you can see that the purl stitches have this little bump and the knit stitches don't. So if you're ever getting confused about whether you're working in a purl stitch or a knit stitch, just look for these little bumps. 
So you want to continue doing that same pattern of knitting a stitch and purling a stitch for a total of seven rows. So I'm going to go away and do that and then I will be back to show you the next step. So I've now finished knitting those seven rows. So we've been working in rib stitch so far and now we're going to start working in stocking stitch which is when you knit a full row and then you purl a full row. So just knitting the whole row. So that's your first full row of just knit stitch and then you're going to do a full row of purl stitch so um when you're doing a full row of purl stitch you don't have to keep putting the wool background to the back so if i just do the first purl stitch so when you were doing the um, knit a stitch, purl a stitch, you would be putting this wool background to the back to do the knit stitch and bringing it forward to do the purl stitch. When you're just doing purl stitch you don't need to keep putting it back round to the back, you can just leave it in the front. So now that you're at the end of that purl row, you put your wool oops, background to the back. So that is your first full row of purl stitch. So once you've done one row of each stitch using the white wool, it is now time to change colour to our red. So this is don't don't be sort of put off by the fact that you have to change colour. It's much easier than you think it's going to be. So this is a knit row that we're doing now. So you start off as normal slipping the right hand needle into the stitch behind the left needle. And instead of wrapping your white wool around, you get your red wool and just create a little loop. Okay, so basically, yes, yeah, so all I'm doing is just creating a little loop with a little tail and then you're just going to slip that on to your right hand needle instead of taking the wool around so just like that and then you hold all of this wool nice and tight while you then continue with the knit stitch as normal so bringing the left needle over the right needle away from you and then sliding the rest of the stitch off like that and then I'm just gonna give all of these a bit of a pull just to make sure it's all nice and tight and now you can drop your white wool and drop this little tail and just carry on knitting the row as you would normally but using the red wool instead. So now you have your first row of red. So the proper way to deal with these tails is firstly you want to cut your white wool leaving a little bit of a tail. Now what you ideally should do at this stage is get a tapestry needle and weave these ends in to here but what I do um, is I'm just going to tie these two in a double knot. So I'll just tie them once, tie them again, because it really, it doesn't notice at all because this is going to be the inside of the stocking and we will still weave in these ends at the end. But just for the time being, I just tie them in a knot. It just makes sure that everything is so much more secure. 
So you're going to continue working in this um, stocking at stitch of knitting a row and purling a row for a total of 16 rows, including the one that you've just done. So this was a knit row. So now you're gonna do a purl row and so on, and you should finish the 16 rows on a purl row. Okay, so you've just done your final row of purl, and at this point, your stocking should be looking a bit like this. Now, now you're gonna move on to um, shaping the heel of the stocking. And for this, you have to do some wrap and turns. So again, don't worry, it's much easier than it sounds. So what you're gonna do is you're doing another knit row, but you're just gonna knit 12 of the stitches. So you've just knitted 12 stitches as normal. Now you're going to do a wrap and turn. So you're gonna take this stitch from your left needle and just put it on to your right needle. So you're not working the stitch at all. You're just slipping it over to the other needle. Okay, and then you're gonna bring your wool round to the front so that it sort of wraps this stitch. And then you're just gonna slip this stitch back over to the left-hand needle, put your wool back to the back, and then you're just gonna turn the whole thing over. So this stitch, you haven't really worked it, but it's been wrapped, and then you turn, and now you're working in purl and you're gonna purl four stitches. Just completely normal. Okay, so you've done four purl stitches and your wool is around the front, just as usual. Okay, so now you're gonna wrap and turn again. So you're gonna take this stitch from your left needle, slip it onto your right needle, Take the wool round to the back so that it wraps this stitch. Then slip this back over to the left hand needle and bring your wool back to the front and then turn your work around. So now you're back to knitting again and you're going to knit six stitches. So you've knitted five stitches, sorry, six stitches, and now you're going to wrap and turn again. So just once again, you take the stitch from the left needle and just slip it onto the right needle. You bring your wool round to the front so that it wraps this stitch. Then you slip this stitch back over onto your left needle and put your wool back to the back and then you turn your work around. Now you're going to purl eight stitches. Okay, so that's eight purl stitches, and now it's time to wrap and turn again. So slipping the stitch over to the right needle, putting your wool round to the back, slipping the stitch back over to your left needle and bringing the wool back to the front, and then turning your work around and now you're going to knit 10 stitches nine and ten okay and now you're going to do another wrap and turn Okay, so you're back to purling again and you're going to purl 12 stitches. And now once again, wrap. Okay. 
and turn. Okay, and you're going to knit 14 stitches. Okay, and now we're gonna do another wrap and turn. Okay, so now you're back to working with a purl and you're going to purl 16 stitches. Okay, and now this is your final wrap and turn. Okay, so that's the end of the wrap and turns. So now you're just gonna knit the rest of this row as normal. So now you're just carrying on with the stocking stitch as normal. So this is obviously um, a knit row. So your next row will be a purl row and so on and so forth. Okay, so you're just gonna carry on the next row is a pearl row, just as normal. And you're gonna continue working with this for another eight rows. And the last row that you do should be a knit row. So you should have just done your final knit row. And now we're going to decrease the stitches and cast off. So the way we do this is we're on a purl row, so we're going to purl two stitches together all the way along the row. So you just start off with your purl stitch as normal, but rather than just going into this first stitch, you're actually going to go into the first two stitches and then just do your purl as normal. like so. And then you're just going to do exactly the same thing again with the next two stitches. So just doing a purl as normal but just going into two stitches rather than one. And you're just going to carry on with this process along the whole row. So now you just have 10 stitches left instead of 20. So now we're on to a knit row and we are going to just repeat that same process of knitting two stitches together. So rather than just going into one stitch, you're gonna go into two and then just knit as normal. And just do that again for the whole row. Okay, so now you have five stitches left and that is the end of the pattern. So all you're gonna do now is cast off. So to cast off, you want to start by just knitting two stitches as normal. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna put your left needle into the bottom stitch on your right needle like that, and then bring it up and over your right needle and off. So now there's just one stitch here. So now you're going to knit another stitch across. So you're back to having two stitches. And then again, left needle goes into the bottom stitch on the right needle, and then you bring it up over and off. just sort of measure up and down your work a couple of times just to make sure that you have plenty of wool to stitch up and then you're just going to cut your wool so you have your final stitch here and what you're just going to do is just put the other needle in as well 
so that you can pull the stitch out a bit and then you just take the rest of your wool into this loop just pull it through and then you can just take your needles out and just pull it nice and tight so you have now officially finished knitting the stocking so now it's time to sew it up so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to these tails from earlier and we're just going to weave them in using a tapestry needle so basically all i'm doing is i'm just following this pattern of stitches just there and then i'm going to do the same with my red and then i just like to tie these in another knot just to make sure that they are super duper secure and then i'm just gonna cut these ends off okay so now we're going to start sewing up the stocking i'm going to start with the white bit which is the cuff just because that's very easy to match up because i just do the white bit and then i'll do the red bit in a minute um just so that we make sure that we're not we don't want to end up with the ends like this we want them to be nice and in line so to sew it up i'm going to be using mattress stitch and basically for this in particularly in the stocking stitch you can see these little v's and in each of these v's is a little bar and that is what you want to go into on each side to sew it up so they're a bit harder to find in the rib stitch at the beginning but so we've got a little bit of a v here so basically you just want to get your get your tapestry needle in there and just dig around for the bar and then pull that together and then on the other side look for the v's and then go into the v to find the bar and then just pull it all together yeah so as i said this is a bit harder to do on the rib stitch section so you'll be able to see much more clearly what i'm doing once we get onto the stocking stitch but as you can see where they're joining together they're creating the little v's so you can't once you've finished you can't really tell where it's been sewn up which is what you want Okay, so I'm just going to leave this for now and I'm going to turn my stocking around so that I'm starting at the toe of the stocking and I have all of this lovely red wool. So there's a little V here, so I'm just going to dig in that and find the bar and then just pull that nice and tight. Then got a V here. <laughs> Okay, so it might be a little bit difficult to begin with just because of where you've sort of done um, the decreasing of stitches and stuff the v's can sort of be in different places but once you sort of get into the core of the stocking it should be relatively simple you're just going to carry on doing this all the way up the stocking until you reach the white where you've already sewn up
Okay, so I finished sewing up. So we have the remainder of our white and red wool here. And this is what your stocking should be looking like. So what I'm gonna do now is just take each of these tails individually and all I'm going to do is just push it through. Okay, and then just do the same with the red. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the whole stocking inside out and all I'm gonna do again is just tie these together. You can um, weave them in with a tapestry needle if you prefer um, and that's probably really what you're meant to do but as I said before tying it in a knot it makes it make sure that it's really secure. I'm just gonna cut them. So you want to sort of have about this much white wool left or you can just cut a new piece and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to turn the stocking back around the right the right way and fold the cuff so you essentially like folded the white bit like that and there you go you have now completed your stocking